We all know the day-to-day -day reminders to sit straight while working, to take some breaks in between to minimize stress and tension, to do your daily exercises to stay fit and flexible and so on. But what do you do when you're already in pain? So here are a couple of exercises which actually help. Hello, my name is Gypsy. I'm a freelance illustrator and design student. And today I'm going to show you some exercises and stretches which actually help against typical pain from artists and designers, like a hurting back, neck and wrists. And of course, this video is also dedicated to all the other people who also deal with these kind of issues. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not a medical advice or treatment plan, so don't do these stretches when you're injured or feel a sharp stabbing pain. If you do so, please consult a doctor. Take it slow, your body needs time to get used to these stretches, which should, by the way, not hurt, only work up where you feel a light stretch. So don't overdo it and it's important to warm up your body before and that's what I'm doing right now. As a warm up you can go for a fast walk, do some jumping jacks as I demonstrate here or any other cardio. Don't go into your stretches cold, otherwise you risk getting injured. We are starting with the biggest problem and most hurting body part of an artist, it's the back. I especially struggled with lower back pain when I started to draw regularly. And these exercises in particular helped me so much. Exercise number one. Turn to your side and extend your arm, so you're standing about an arm length away from the wall. Then press your forearm onto the wall. Place your body weight onto one foot and slowly move your hip towards the wall. You should feel a light stretch on the side of your waist. This muscle you feel right now helps you to move your torso back and forth and to the left and right, but it's often quite stiff from sitting so much while working. With this exercise, we relax this particular muscle and loosen its tension, so your lower back should stop hurting after a while. Hold all of these stretches about 10 to 30 seconds and repeat it a couple of times. Another way to stretch this muscle is to place your leg onto something the same height as your hips. The tip of your foot should point upward and then you gently move your upper body in the direction of the leg. But take care to not hurt yourself. If the pain of your lower body radiates down to the butt, you should try these exercises. Lay down, position your legs like this and push your knee away while you pull your foot towards you. You should feel a precise pull down in your bottom. A different method to stretch this muscle. Raise a leg again onto something, but this time you bend it and then lean your upper body forward and rotate it slowly to the left and right. Here it's very important to keep your back straight. If it's the upper back which causes pain, then you should try these stretches. Place yourself in front of a wall about 1 to 1.5 meters away. It depends on your body size. Then lean forward and move your hips back while you hold onto the wall with your hands. Also try to keep your back straight and test how the stretch feels for you. You can do a similar version of the stretch on the floor. So kneel down, put your arms as far away as you can and then put your hands onto the back of your head. This way I felt the stretch even more intense. For the next exercise we almost touch the wall and start to do some kind of swimming motion. But in the end we also move our elbows up. It looks quite simple, but trust me, if you do this a couple of times, you'll really feel it. But if you want to make it even more difficult, you can do this movement on the floor. The last exercise is for your upper back and shoulders. Therefore, lower your head to your side and shift your arm to the opposite side, where you pull it with your other arm back. And don't forget the other side, of course. Let's keep going with the neck. Keep one arm down and then shift your head to the opposite side. If you want to, you can also gently pull on your head. To stretch the front of your neck, position your head to the side and a bit back, like this. And start to nod slowly. You should feel it right here. You also can do some exercises for the arms. Overall, we can always massage the hurting parts with a bit of pressure. But to stretch the flexors in particular, we bend our hand upwards and pull it with the other one. And to stimulate extenders, we also do it the other way around, downwards. You might know this exercise already. 
A bit more untypical exercise is this one. Make a fist and keep your font inside. Then lift your arm and move your hand down to create a stretch right here. To stretch the contrary side, you just pull on your thumb like we did with the hands before. Of course, we can do so with our fingers too and stretch them like this between each other. Another routine you can practice is to open and close your hand while you have wrapped a rubber band around the fingers. And at last, a great way to relax your tensioned wrist, just take something you can grasp easily with your hands and do this rotation like this. Focus on making a smooth movement with your wrists. So in conclusion, stretching is not only important to keep your muscles flexible and strong, it also helps to improve your posture, reduce pain and stiffness and it also enhances blood flow and circulation. Since I'm doing these exercises, I feel a lot better and don't have to deal with quote unquote artist pain so often anymore. I know this video is something totally different on my channel. And I'm also not that body confident, but I still hope you enjoyed this variety, because I think this topic is quite important, especially for creative people like us, who seem to forget about their physical health. Thank you for watching, and if you want to support me creating more art and videos, please check out my Patreon. Bye bye guys!